Hey folks, this is Ben, and thank you for joining us on this episode of the Semper Gumby channel. It is February 4th, 2024, and you're not gonna believe it, but it is 71 degrees today. That's right, 71, and I, I did not invert those numbers. It's not 17, 71 degrees. I should have made some reservations or I should have gone camping but we're expected to have half inch to one inch of rain this afternoon all the way till tomorrow. So that's the only reason why we didn't go camping. But we've got some really cool things coming up for 2024. And you probably haven't seen the good old vintage trailer camper uh, at a campsite or being operational for a uh, a couple months now it's because we had kind of winterized it and we're doing some additions to it but we are going to take this to Springfield Missouri for the more expo and this year we are going to take the Dodge Ram and the camper to the more expo which is April 19th and 20 at the Ozark Fairgrounds in Springfield Missouri and right now we have applied, or the Semper Gumby channel has applied for Storyteller Row. And if we are accepted on Storyteller Row, we would also be partnering up with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Now the NCMC or, uh, is the nation's largest and most influential child protection organization. Uh, they lead the fight to protect children, creating vital resources for them and, to, and other people to keep them children safe. Now, as a background with my training and experience as a police officer, you know, I had experienced this, whether it's human trafficking, abduction, and missing children. And we all know that a lot of this, uh, the children that are, are abducted or are lured into human trafficking and exploited, they are sent to other countries as, and they are exploited as low as the ages of 13 years old. So it's a great event. It's a great charitable organization. And I'll go into a little bit more detail when I, if, if I get accepted into the program uh, or that organization with the More Expo. But more of that to come, but April 19th and the 20th, the 20th uh, at Springfield, Missouri at the Ozark Fairgrounds. Um, I will be, if I am you know, accepted, that'd be great. If not, I will still do a fundraiser. You can donate as little as $1, as much as $100, or whatever you feel comfortable with, and that'll go towards the organization. But it's a great charitable event, but I'll do a dedicated video on that as we get closer. And in today's video, we are gonna show the placement, uh, how it's gonna work with the camper, um, how to set it up, uh, what kind of wattage it's gonna take, what we're gonna do, to have this fully operational. And then in the, the next video after that, we're gonna go take this camper camping and we're gonna test it. And just be aware, this is an electric heater, so you're either gonna need shore power or you're gonna need an external power source such as a power station like a Blue Eddy or a power uh, generator. Now the height of this electric mini tank water heater is only 15.4 uh, inches high and 11.4 inches wide. So it's pretty, pretty compact. And you know, being 2.5 gallons uh, makes it pretty, a pretty cool thing to have or efficient thing to have in your camper. Now this would be like I believe in redundancy. So this will be a secondary unit if I do have shore power or electrical uh, at my campsite. All right, gang. This is where we are going to mount the Thermomate mini tank water heater. Now on the top of the heater, you have your uh, red and blue, of course your hot water and cold water. On the right side, you have your cold water inlet. And then on the left, you have your hot water outlet where your water comes in and of course your water goes out. And then you have your little yellow sex, uh, ring here and that was where your uh, relief valve is going to be. And then of course you have your AC plug 
that will go into your, uh, for me, it'll go into the 2000 watt pure sign inverter, which is right there. Um, that will run off my 12 volt battery. So I can run it off grid or I can run it on grid using uh, shore power. Now the front of the uh, heater, you do have a minimum and maximum dial and the maximum is 125 degrees. Um, I don't think we'll be needing 125 degrees worth of hot water. So I'll probably run it between minimum and one. So, you know, for starters, we'll start off at one and see what the hot water is uh, when we run this as being operational. When you purchase your Thermomate electric mini water heater, you're gonna get your relief valve and that will go right here um, and it will thread right in to the heater. And it also already come with threaded pipe tape on there. And when you get that threaded in here, once you get it set, uh, you can run a relief pipe out down under uh, outside of the camper. And that way when the, it gets over pressurized, this relief valve will bleed off any pressure and I'll run a, uh, I'll drill a hole where it relieves out to the bottom of the camper. And they will also provide you mounting bolts and screws, which I will mount that once our braided lines come in. And when I said this thing is electric, I will plug this into my 2000 watt pure sign inverter. The pure sign inverter is then powered up by a 12.800 amp hour battery. And this Thermomate mini tank water heater will draw 1400 watts. So I have no doubt that this battery and this uh, pure sign inverter will be able to power this on. All right, I had to change into some shorts and a t-shirt because I was starting to sweat. I went from 22 degrees four days ago to 71 degrees. It's crazy. Uh, the weather here in Tennessee is off the hook. But let's go over some technical data on this uh, water heater. Now, the capacity of this EB250B is 2.5 gallons. Now, the voltage, like I mentioned before, it's an AC electrical, so it's uh, 110 to 120. Now, the power draw or the wattage off this thing is uh, 1440 uh, watts so a thousand uh, 440 watts so if you are going to use a power station for this thing make sure you have a power station that can handle that initial load of uh, over 1400 watts now the maximum water pressure this thing will put out is 150 psi so this relief valve um, is installed in there to relieve any excess pressure and make sure that this thing is vented outside of where you, or a drain or a trap or outside of your camper or wherever you are installing it. Now the weight of this heater uh, of the ES250B is 14.7 pounds. So just a little shy of 15. Now it draws 12 amps on there and it is just one phase. Now the temperature range that this will go from a minimum to maximum is 68 degrees to 140 degrees. Now this Thermomate ES250B is great for an RV, camper, or a van. And I plan to put this in my ProMaster van. The only thing that's holding me back right now is the sink and the cabinet that I ordered is on back order. And they're telling me six to eight weeks and I don't have time uh, to wait for that because the expo is only about six to eight weeks. So the time being, I am gonna install this in my uh, off-grid camper. So if you're interested in getting the Thermomate ES250B, um, they are on sale 
on Amazon. Well, everything's on sale on Amazon. Uh, you can get this, they have it in stock on Amazon for $179. Okay, 179, and that is for the um, ES250B. Okay, and if you go to there, I'll put I'll put a link in the description below. Um, you can apply the $15 coupon for it. Now, if you don't want the two and a half gallon, you can go a smaller version, uh, the 1.32 gallon, and you can apply. A $10 coupon and get it for $159.99. So, depending on your application of uh, how big uh, you want your heater to be. Now, is this the only option you have for uh, a water heater or for hot water? No. Um, this will be going into my van. My van and my camper are two different types of uses. You know, I get a lot of uh, comments from people saying you know why did you build the van if you had the camper well the camper and van are two different types of builds my camper is a, for a lot of off-grid uh dispersed boondocking um off-road type of things because the camper and the truck can go places where my van can't go my van is pretty much built for traveling. If I go see friends and family, um, and it's more of a stealth type kinda, um, if I wanna pull into a parking lot, if I wanna pull into a truck stop, a hotel parking lot, um, like I said, traveling. Um, you know, it is only a two-wheel drive. I can't take it off-road like I can the camper and the truck. So if that answers any of your questions about um, those are two different type of uses so um, but like I said this will go into the van eventually and I do have a off-grid tankless water heater from Bouge RV that will eventually be permanently in this camper so again uh, I want to thank Thermomate for sending us the ES uh, 250B uh, this was just a brief overview of their product and the next one when we get the other things in we are going to have it installed and actually getting some hot water out of this uh, bad boy but I like it it's a compact design uh, looks like it would put out a lot of hot water and like I mentioned uh, it's going to be perfect for uh, RV camper and hopefully all that stuff will be in the lines and everything that we can use uh, when we head to the expo so i'll post the links and the description in the box below um, and i appreciate you guys watching the video so remember uh, please subscribe like and comment that really helps the video and i will be posting more info on the exploited children and the uh, more expo that is coming up in april um, and also check out our patreon page um, other than that i'm ben that's hoku <laughs> and we will catch you on our next video thanks for watching this is semper gumby out